Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to log a user's IP using a bit of PHP script. We're going to also use an F open and F write to write to a text file. So um, if you look Dreamweaver, open up a new page, save it as um, index.php and you also want to save out a new one as IPs or whatever you want basically I'm just going to put IPs IPS.txt now we basically don't do anything in the txt file that which will this is the file that will actually lo log down all the IPs that have visited the, um, the page so if we open up our PHP tags here um, and basically we're just going to create a quick variable here called IP and that's equal to dollar underscore server um, remote underscore ADDR this basically just gets the IP address if I just um, echo out here IP this will basically tell me um, my IP address which is also equivalent to what you see on on web pages like um, my one IP where it tells you your um, tells you your IP address that's basically what that is um, there you go tells me the IP address because I'm using the, the local host it'll come up as the local host IP address and not my actual address if I go onto like another computer in the house it will come up with that specific uh, computer's IP address for example 192.168.0.5 or whatever um, because I'm using a local host and I'm using it on this computer it's coming up with that um, so next part um, just get rid of the echo I'm going to create another variable here called file and this is basically just going to open that text file so we need f open and inside here we're just going to create two variables uh, the first one is the actual text file we want to write to so ips.txt and the second one is how you want to use the file. You've got W for write, R for read, um, I think it's for A plus for append. Uh, we're going to write to the file. So we need a W. Now we're actually going to, now we've opened the file, we need to write to the file. So F write. Um, and we're going to say, what the hell just happened? Uh, we're going to say, um want to see two parameters in here um, I want to say file because we want it to write to we want it to use this we want to open the file and write to it and we're also going to put in there the IP address so it's going to open so it's going to write to the file we've opened here and then it's going to write put into the file the IP address which was the IP address here of the user and we're just going to echo out to the user here your IP has been locked okay so that's that's basically it really and um, nothing fancy so if we save this out and as you can see there's nothing in ips.txt if I then uh, refresh this page your IP has been logged if we come back to Dreamweaver it's been, been modified outside Dreamweaver yes and there's the IP there that's uh, been logged um, if I actually load up uh, a remote desktop connection and connect to another computer on my in my uh, house if I connect to this computer 
and uh, if I just let's begin, if I type in password to log in um, so if I um, actually go to the internet and um, when I go to the local host so basically type in the IP address of my computer my actual computer um, 192.168.0.2 I think it is and you'll get up the uh, the uh, server if I then go to log users IP your IP has been logged if I come back down to Dreamweaver and reload this as you can see that 192.168.0.30 has now come up now as you can see um, it over it like overwritten that um, that IP address so what we can do is if we go back to this and say um, append I think that might work if I just uh, refresh that page there we go uh, it's gone on the same line but um, it's appended that IP address to the um, to the text file so that's basically how to log the user's IP thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial